Now, what do we have here? Wow. Wow. Check that out. Welcome back to Warner Farms, guys. So, yesterday I went out to go finish some vertical tillage up. We had about 140 acres to go between three fields. And, uh, yeah. So, I ended up, we don't know if there was like a mound of dirt out in the field, and I backed up and the basket ended up getting pinched and uh, warping these springs and bending them because this was actually this joint in here or this ear it cracked this off and actually i think it might be here in the shop and it broke that chunk off and it ended up finally and this was broke for a while i guess and it broke this spring and uh, warped those springs well actually it didn't break this one it just warped that one enough so we ended up taking these off barry and i did this morning and uh bending these back with the press and what happened down here was it warped this bracket also and it kind of cocked that bearing in there just enough but it should be all right and uh, at least enough to get us across that 100 well there would be about 120 acres left and uh, so that should be all right. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect, but we'll be able to get across what we need to get across. So we'll have to get a new bracket, another new bracket down there, possibly a new housing for that bearing. And the issue is you can't just buy this piece. Uh, you can't spread these brackets apart to slide this piece in. You actually, uh, it actually cracked the welds as you can see there and there there and there and on that one as well so really we need to get three new brackets six u-bolts and uh, replace that we've got this whole assembly for this spring laying in the shop in there but this will get us by but i just got word from our salesman our salesman literally was just here about 15 20 minutes ago that they are bringing out the uh, demo unit, the 2660 VT, on a pretty awesome tractor. I did not think that they were going to put it on that size of a tractor, but you guys are going to be surprised. <laughs> so they're going to bring it over. Uh, it's coming up out of Winnemac, and they're bringing it to Knox, and I don't know if I'm picking it up from Knox or if they're bringing it out to the field from Knox, one of the two, but they're bringing it out to the river, and we don't have any cover crop out there at the river, but uh, we're just gonna run it across the corn stalks out there. There's 100, 150 acres I can run out there. But if that's the case and I can run it today and tomorrow, if they're getting it up there today, which I heard it's already on the move from Winnemac to Knox right now, uh, I might just end up bringing it uh, from the river over to do this 120 acres that needs to be worked in because we got cover crop seed on the ground and it needs to get worked now and it should have been done Monday and today's Friday. So might just do that and then run it over to the river and do that. So we might have a little bit of time here to play with a pretty awesome tractor. Now, I did not expect I would ever get to drive, but gonna be pretty awesome. We've been working on the skid steer. Uh, we've got the grapple on there right now. We got the hoses and the fittings on there. We're actually gonna put some bracing in between the tines on the end of this. Dad's gonna be welding that. Barry's gonna be uh, grinding on that right now so we can get that welded up. And uh, I've got the skid steer running in there right now. That's why I'm not going in there right now, just because it's loud and I know you guys won't be able to hear me. But uh, I'm gonna change oil on that. I'm gonna figure out what filters I need for that as far as a hydraulic filter and uh, any air filters I need for that and uh, get those ordered down at Knox, get those coming. And that thing should be almost ready for the woods or any other projects uh, that we're gonna do this winter with it because we've got a list probably about a mile long between dad and I where we want to take that thing. Yeah, so this is where we're going to put the bracing all in here. Got the hoses run. This is how we decide to run them. But I don't know if that's right or wrong to you guys, but that's what looks right for us. We're going to put a bracket in here to kind of help support these hoses in there. So Dad and Barry will work on that later, just depending on how 
what the plan is with that vertical till. way back from Knox I sent him down they actually had everything but one filter and that's the secondary engine air filter that will be here on Monday so uh, I told grandpa you know what if you got some time just run down there grab everything fuel filter hydraulic filter uh, air filters cab filters so I'm gonna basically just change it all because it's at like 1520 or 1530 hours so I just want to get everything for 500 and 1,000 hours done. Just that way we know what's been done to it and it's on our cycle now because we don't know exactly what the guy did before us. So Barry spent the afternoon working on this grapple and he got all the pipe cut to length for the bracing for this, uh, for the tines on here. And he did an awesome job on this. Dad's gonna go ahead and get this welded tomorrow. I'm going to continue working on getting the filters changed on this once Grandpa gets back. And from what I've heard from Grandpa, the tractor has, the tractor and the vertical till has made it to Knox. I don't know if I'm supposed to go there and pick it up. I got to talk to uh, our salesman, Matt, and find out if I'm going down there and getting it and driving it back, or if they're driving it to the river farm and what the plan is there i mean i don't know i don't know how many hours i'm going to be allocated with this but from the way it sounds it sounds like i might be the last one to run this so all right now what do we have here wow wow Check that out. Ninety six twenty RX with a twenty six sixty VT. Whoa, this might be a little fun today. Wow, <laughs> good deal. Yeah. Well, actually, there's uh, not all of those are used. I guess it showed because I was looking at, I was looking at that in the back, and uh, it doesn't look like all of them are used. This is going to be so much fun. Never in my life have I drove a quad track before. I've only driven a four-wheel drive once in my life, and that was a 9400. This thing is a boat. I can't believe how big this thing is. That's pretty cool.
is pretty aw or uh, E18, sorry, that's e that's pretty cool. Because the 8Rs have E23, this has an E18 in it. This is pretty sweet. Gotta get used to turning with this thing. I'm not used to driving an articulated tractor. So. Alright. Yeah, I could get used to seeing this here. I just need $600,000. <laughs> you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. What a beast. Wow. <laughs> this is going to be a fun day.